Hey, what's going on, Freedomers? Um, I had to, you know, I said, like, I saw this thing, uh, on, I saw this thing on, um, I see 999, that's interesting. I see, I saw this thing on Facebook that by Robert C. Kiyosaki, is that you need to stop focusing on your, um, on make on saving or lowering your lowering your expenses I, I, I actually had to like real as I say that out loud that actually makes a lot of sense where she was like he was like yo stop focusing on lowering your expenses and start focusing on making more money because the lack lack is where you're focusing on lowering your expenses and and uh, the abundance is where yo where can I make more money and um, and that doesn't mean that but that also doesn't mean you need to quickly uh, uh, that doesn't mean you quickly need to, to upgrade your expenses either and what that means is you don't need to make you don't need to make your life more you don't need to up your your expenses um, either that just doesn't mean you don't need to lower it at some certain points um, and what that what that what that means is <coughs> what that means is um, let's say you're at a certain point you don't need to you don't need to put more expenses on your plate you need to make more money at certain at certain points in your life you just need to make more money you don't need to you don't need to you don't need to make your expenses lower you just need to make more money and that's where I'm at in my life I need to make more money not not lower my expenses and you need to completely focus on the abundance and take more action in your business, in your life, and like dominate as much as possible because abundance only comes to those who are dominant. Um, I, had to, I just had to accept that. In, in business, abundance only comes to those who are dominant. And when you're dominant, when you start to become really dominant in, in an area like business, you start realizing um, what's helpful and what's not Like I had somebody come into my life Again he's trying to penetrate himself into my life And I know I know now more than ever That he cannot help me um, I know now more than ever He can't do nothing for me I know now more than ever I look at I look at his I look at his text I look at his inboxes I look at his social media I say you can't help me Because you're not where I want to be Anymore I used to admire and be like, oh, you know, I want you to help me, boop, 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 boop. But I said, you can't help me do shit because you're not where I want to be. You don't have the skills I need. You don't have the skills I want. You don't have the training I need. So why am I speaking to you? For what? You know what I'm saying? And it's so fascinating how 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 life changes for me now where I was like, what like the, the people that I've once admired I say, what do you want? Like, for what? What do you have for me? How do, how do I benefit? Because you're in my life. Like, I don't, ca- I don't care how much money you make at this point. I need to know, can you help me get closer to my goals? And that's one thing, I, that's one thing I, I'm, I'm understanding. No one's going to make your, your dreams a reality but you. And because no one's going to make your dreams a reality but you, you need to be very picky about who you say is your mentor, who you say is helping you? Who you say is guiding you? Because I said, if that person don't don't got what you want, fuck what they talking about. For real, for real. If that if, like, you can't be like that's what I'm learning. You cannot be hoodwinked by money. You say, oh, because he got money, he has somebody. That doesn't mean shit. Because again, it's about the vision. You feel what I'm saying? If 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 that person doesn't have what you want outside of finances, if that person doesn't have the platform, the skill, any of that. And all you just have to do is work harder to attain what that person has and fuck what they talking about. Fuck what they talking about. For real. Fuck what they talking about. Because I had to, that's what I said today to myself. I said, fuck what he's talking about. Because I said, first of all, you don't have what I want. What the fuck am I talking to you for? For real, for real. What the fuck am I talking to you for? Real talk. What the fuck? What the fuck am I talking to you for? And you don't got what I want. You don't have the platform you I want. What the fuck am I talking to you for? 
And if that's nothing, then I need to move on. Your, your message will stay on red. Your messages will stay. Your, your messages will stay. Um, your messages will stay on red. Your messages will stay on. Will stay blocked. And I'm lucky I don't block you because I'm not petty. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's just funny how life changes for me. Like, on some, what do you want? The people I want to admire say, what do you want now? It's so fascinating, like, how life changed. Like, I really be like, yo, what do you want? For real, for real, what do you want? And even to the people that help me now, I'm like, what? Like, I got to a certain point in my life, like, what do you want? Like, if you're not helping me get to my goal, what do you want? Real talk. What do you want? If you, because you're not making my dreams a reality, what do you want? You're not putting in the 18 hour days with me. What do you want? What do you want? You feel me? Real talk. What do you want, my nigga? You're not helping me make no money. What do you want? You know? Um, you see life a lot different when you just want to put in this work. You know? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want, my nigga? And, um, yeah, like, no one's gonna make your dreams a reality. And when you realize no one's gonna make your dreams a reality, everything becomes, you start looking at everything with a very skeptical eye because you gotta put in the work. You get less emotional about who you hang with. Are you ordering? Uh, no. Are you ordering? You get less emotional about, oh, that's my friend. You get less, like, I, the more, the, the less, the less emo, the more, the more I understand this concept of I'm, only, I'm the only one going to make my dreams a reality, the less emotional about who I, who I, the less emotional I become about who I associate, why I associate with them. Um, that's it. I become so, so less emotion, so much less emotional about why I fuck with them. I'm the only one who's gonna make my dreams a reality. I've been having this dream since I was 18 years old, and I'm so close to the fucking finish line. I'm so fucking close, bro. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm there, but I'm not there now. I'm, I'm there, but I'm not there. You feel me? I'm, I'm where, I'm where, I, I'm where, I, I'm where I saw myself a couple years ago, but I'm not there. You know what I'm saying? I, I want a more glorious life. Now I want to travel now and do some sad shit and be a thot thot on the low. You heard? Yeah. So, no. So now that I want to be a traveling dot, <laughs> a traveling dot with my with my with my uh my passport is stamped. You heard? Oh 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 my oh my my passport is stamped as fuck. Stamped as fuck and stamped as fuck. You know what I'm saying? No emotions. You know what I'm saying? Oh my oh my oh my, oh my, that's all I want to do now. I just want my my passport stamped. You heard? I just want my passport stamp and being be a guru somewhere in the mountains, being by myself, minding my motherfucking business, you heard? Niggas don't want to be talking to niggas all day. I just want to make my money, fuck with my students, and, and, and make my money, you heard? And because I know my dreams, because I know I'm the only one who can make my dreams a reality, I become a, I become, I'm becoming more and more less emotional. About who I fuck with and why I fuck with them, because you're not get if you're not getting me closer. What the fuck I'm talking to you for? And that's why I say I'm so thankful for the placements in my life because if I didn't have that that moon in Capricorn, in the sixth house, for instance, just a little bit of my spiritual practice. If I wasn't as repetitive, it saved my life. That place, that moon placement saved my life. Because if I didn't have it, I'd be like the rest of these dumb fucks out here. Or, you know, say that's harsh, right? Or I'd be like, I'd be like some of the people that I was homeless with. I'm so thankful that I was disciplined. I see nine. You've heard, you heard? I see that. You heard? See the spirit just talking, you heard? But.
But yeah, and yeah, see this number here. 951, you heard? 9, you know what I'm saying? It's at 9, 9 to existence, 9 to 6, you heard? But I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for my discipline. And I'm just going to go harder and I'm going to separate myself a lot. I'm separating myself a lot. And, um, I don't want to talk about it no more. My dreams are so close. I could taste it, bro. I could taste it, bro. The more discipline I can come, I could taste it. That passport stamp, I already, I already know what I need to do for travel. My life is gonna look totally different by my birthday, yo. It's gonna look so different. But there's so many people I can't fuck with right now. Me and your dreams are becoming a reality. People ask me, people, people are gonna ask me why are you so selfish? Because I'm the only one that's gonna make it, it's gonna make it happen. You become real selfish when you realize you don't know what's gonna make it happen. You become real. You become real, real fucking mean about your shit when you realize yo, I'm the only one who's gonna make this shit happen. I get out of bed every day and pay these fucking bills. The fuck I'm talking to you for. I used to be upset about what my friend did recently. Or friends did in the past couple years, I'd snap the fuck out of it. At the, at the end of the motherfucking day, you're not gonna dream, you're not gonna leave my dreams a reality. If anything in the world, you slow me up. I'm gonna be on some real sad shit real soon. Where if you slow me down, you got to go. Take your money, take your friendship, take your love, take all that shit. You slowing me down, you got to go. I'm, I'm running for the finish line. I got, I got things to do. I'm so close to you, man. I'm so close, bro. Now, now I actually just need to switch my mindset to just making more money. Well, not lowering my expenses, but not heightening your expenses either. Like I said earlier, don't raise your expenses. Like you need to make, you need to, you need to, uh, you need to be, you need to make your shit. Astrologically fucking, uh, at, no, excuse me, astronomically fucking ridiculous. You know, I ain't say all that, but, um, but, you know, I'm just gonna focus on making my money and, and focus on the need that I can provide. It's gonna make me some money and keep it pushing and not go to sleep till certain shit is done. You feel me? And, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult, but what 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 good thing comes with ease? I guess you know what I'm saying. I ain't really act for an easy life. I guess with this Mars with this Mars North Node and shit. I wish I could just be a thought all day like these normal niggas. But no, I gotta have a mission and shit. <laughs> uh, well yeah. Um, I'm so close, bro. People don't understand. I'm gonna become really, really fucking selfish with my time. Like, if my, like my spiritual dad would say, I'm really selfish with my time because you don't have much of it. And a lot of people don't understand. Like, one day, one day you twenty. Like, I, yo, every time it was so right, yo. He said, one day you twenty one. He said, one day you twenty one. Next day you twenty five. <sighs> yo, just yesterday I was eighteen year. <laughs> Jeez. Yesterday, city, I was I was with my ex best friend talking about happy twenty first birthday. Bish, give me a watch for my birthday that I still have. She just yesterday, you heard? Just yesterday. Just just yesterday, I was with my parents. I was okay. Just yesterday. Don't get it fucked up. Just yesterday. I don't care. I'm eating McDonald's. I don't give a fuck. Traveling woes. But anyway. Just yesterday. You heard? Just yesterday. That's why, that's, why, that's why I don't even want to talk to people who say they got time. Just yesterday, I was 18 years old, bro. Just yesterday, I was, I was graduating college. I mean, graduating high school. Just yesterday. Okay? 
Just yesterday, I was in college. Just yesterday. Just yesterday. I made my first sale online. Just yesterday I was homeless. Didn't go to garbage. Just yesterday. My only regret is like all successful people. I wish I would have believed a lot bigger a lot sooner. This year, I'm not making that mistake. I wish I would have believed a lot bigger a lot sooner. That's my only regret. And that means. Now this is my intuition, now this is my gut, now this is my heart, now this is what, what spirit reveals to me, and fuck, every, fuck everything else. Three. I'm soon to be traveling the world, so letting y'all know that. In mind of my motherfucking business. <laughs> Eating McDonald's in every city and shit. Stop. I'm not saying that. You don't want to get shit to the existence. You're fat as fucking shit. But with a long ass beard. The hair all afro, well, razor afro. I don't, I don't know how I'm feeling. I might keep my fro to my birthday. I don't know yet. Yeah, oh yeah, no, I told myself I'm not cutting my hair to my birthday. Until I make a certain amount of money. Anyway. Um, yeah, like I said, man, nobody can make my dreams a reality. So I'm be mad selfish with my time, mad selfish with my, with my, with my, my resources. You just sexy, beautiful. Yes, why? Uh, just yesterday, I was at my parents' house trying to figure it out. Okay. Okay, so you know that's you know that's in New York where you checking your hairline and shit in the mirror. <laughs> anyway, I'm still not where I want to be, man. I'm, too, I'm going too slow. Shit's happened too slow. <laughs> I need to go faster, but um, I need to wake up earlier and, and be more aggressive about, about my shit. Um, work probably 15 hour days, not just not just eight or whatever. But like I said. You don't want to make your dreams a reality. And don't forget that shit.